Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. Sometimes I feel like the court jester to Henry VIII when he was having his wife's beheaded or a comic doing a stand-up gig in a Paris nightclub the night they dusted off the guillotine. It's really hard to stand in the light when so many are in the dark, to be funny when so many are crying. But I had early training. I grew up in the Great Depression and World War II when things were really dark. I watched... Bob Hope traveled to combat zones to make the troops laugh. The next day, half the laughing kids were dead. Yeah, he knew that. It's Sunday. We just had 10 inches of snow, and living ain't easy. Bear with me. You're not interested in the numbers, I understand. I was a stand-up comic working for laughs when I had two daughters to feed. I went on stage after taking a call. That told me my mother had died. So now I'm on this stage, this page, this morning. This is what I do. I can't go outside, so stick with me. At least the news this week is better. It's all about the miracle vaccine coming to town. That's real stuff. Two shots, two weeks apart. She doesn't want it. When I ask her, she doesn't even look up from her book, but simply shakes her head. I should have known. She's never in her life bought the first of anything. I wasn't her first date, you know. Actually, I'm not rushing into it either. I haven't even gotten the 2020 flu shot. If my KN95 mask, the one Joe Biden wears, protects me from COVID, what chance does the flu, a common cold, or bad breath have of getting through? Our two closest friends are really excited about it, even though it may be Labor Day before anything resembling a vaccine comes to Waterville. So far, there are two superstars on the horizon. Pfizer says it expects about 25 million doses for us by the end of the year. Then there's Moderna, who says the company is coming with 45 million doses. New York has been promised an initial batch from Moderna later this month. Good luck. I hope it's not coming from Amazon, who said my designer masks were due a week ago. I'm still waiting. A, a top federal vaccine official told the Washington Post that other vaccines from other companies may be approved by then. Imagine a stranger comes up to you at a party with a smile and extended hand. Hi, I'm a top federal vaccine official. Run. I, I hold this virtual mic with a heavy heart. And this is my fear. As someone who wants me to live in show business, listen, there's no one I trust. As I've said before, I know these people. They're capable of saying Anything, and those glorious lies, and they're not above saying things like, now, all new COVID vaccine, now sugar, salt, and gluten-free vaccine. Cynical? I worked for them. Hear it. Here's the good news for Maine. The Pfizer vaccine needs to be kept at a very low temperatures of around minus 70 degrees Celsius. In the Maine winter, that's called Tuesday. Okay. Here's what I want for Christmas. I want the first loads. Every, every vial, every drop of the vaccine to go immediately, instantly, by police escort if necessary, to all the hospitals, to the frontline workers, the doctors, to nurses, respiratory crews, to cops and firefighters, and to those suffering and dying in the nursing homes. I am hardened against the tan and the stone millennials coming in from the beach after a summer of mocking the mask and stopping off at the hospital on their way home from the mask-free nightclubs to claim a shot. I'm against their getting anywhere near the first deliveries. Give them a mask and send them home. Drop the mic. 
Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Divine. On the Edge with J.P. Divine Audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine.